A member of the grass family, barley is grown all over the world. Throughout history, it's been so commonplace that it's at the root of the English measurement system. In 1324, King Edward II standardized the inch as equal to three grains of barley. In Iowa, barley is planted in the spring, as soon as the soil is dry enough to till. By mid-July, it's ripe, and when the moisture level is right, it's time to harvest. I've always loved being dirty. I just, I love mechanical things. I love wrenching, fixing, restoring, uh, those kind of things. Tony Kenobi is a retired banker whose heart never left the farm. He started collecting antique tractors before he had an acreage to drive them on. He saw an opportunity to put his equipment to use, growing a few acres of wheat and barley near Davenport. This combine is by far the newest piece of equipment we have, and it's 40 years old. The combine harvester is a familiar feature in Iowa's fall landscape. It performs three functions, taking a lot of the work out of preparing this grass for consumption. First, it does the reaping, which is the cutting and gathering of the plants. Then, the threshing, removing the edible part of a grain from the husk and straw. And finally, winnowing, or separating the grain from the chaff. So we're gonna engage the separator and the reel and get it up to speed. Lower the head and away we go. Once harvested, half of the U.S. barley crop is grown as livestock feed and the other half is for human consumption. Tony's barley is sent to a local distillery to become bourbon whiskey. About 25% of the U.S. barley crop is malted after harvest. This fascinating step in the beer brewing process involves sprouting, then drying the grain. This alters the starches in the grain, releasing the sugars needed for fermentation. When it comes to eating it, Pearled barley is what most people are familiar with. After harvest, it goes through a polishing process, or purling, to remove the bran. It's often featured in soups, salads, stews, and can make a creamy risotto. We're trying to cut it low so we capture all the straw and sell the straw as well. We're going just about as slow as this machine will go. The stuff that comes out of the back of the combine, the straw, sits in these windrows, we call them, and we'll come along and bale that. The barley straw we're selling to a dairy farmer um, out by Donahue, Iowa, and he feeds that to his dry cows. For Tony, this versatile grain is a rewarding hobby and a connection to so many things he loves. I love hard work. I just love being outside. I love the equipment. Um, the farming, you know, everything about it is just, is just fun. <laughs>